Oh, what's up there, people? Uh, hey, uh, so today I figured I'd make a little different video than I had been. Uh, I've got 14 subscribers now. Uh, got two more subscribers snuck on there without me even noticing. So, hey, welcome to my channel, whoever you may be. Uh, I got um, Last I checked, my average watch time was like somewhere uh, around 36 to 48 seconds. So, uh, try to do interesting stuff before then. So, there we go. We're 40 seconds in. I got my thank yous to the new subscribers and welcome to the channels in. So, there we go. Now they can go ahead and uh, bug out of here. And what I want to do is I'm going to do a product review. All right. So it's on a, uh, since it's Christmas time, I figured I'd show my new Christmas present. It is a Yakeda tactical vest. The name is spelled Y-A-K-E-D-A. -E yep. And this is a, it's made in China, of course. They're not very expensive. I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. Now these are not armored. But you can see this is the tactical vest. All right, front side and the back side. Back side has molly, so you can strap on whatever you'd like. I'm personally a backpack wearer. You can see the front has all kinds of magazine pockets and such. I'll go through what I got. Uh, the belt. I did actually change this belt. Now the belt I attached is one I previously owned. The only difference is this has a button. The other one was actually a larger size than I have here. And it, uh, no button. So a little quicker release. It's not what I was looking for. Um, that's the only change I've made to it. Plus I added this patch. This did not come with it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing on. All right. Use a little TV magic there. <sighs> if you get a flicker in the lights, because I got my dryer running. All right. So I'll run through what we got here. Um, magazine pouches. You can see right here, three magazine pouches. I have pistol ammo, pistol magazines. They are also compatible with my carbine. I have a, it's all 40 cal, uh, pistol of course, you see pistol slides out, just a little snap clip here, it's actually velcroed on the front with a securing strap here and a securing strap here, which I tuck that securing strap up under here because it has some velcro on it, so I ran it a little different than when I got it. This also has a securing strap. So this whole side is Velcro and removable with some little strap clips. So you could alternate some stuff, you know, take this off, put it on the thigh. I do have a, like a thigh harness. I could take this off and put a first aid kit here or whatever. Um, the holster itself has an extra spot for another magazine. Okay, down here on the belt, if you use your full screen, you'll see I have a flashlight. Yeah. So this flashlight's pretty cool. Uh, battery powered. I use all AAA. So it's got an adjustable beam. You can make it wide or short. Eh, you probably can't even tell. But one thing that's cool is you push the button and it dims it. And you push it and it goes to a strobe. So you can strobe the shit out of the place. Yep. So keep that right here. And I have another little uh, keeper right here on the belt. These are attached to the belt. And uh, what this is, is a knife. Just a, just a little knife. Yep. Uh, I'm actually looking for a different idea what to keep in this spot because I've got a few knives in this pouch and I don't know, I worry about this knife falling out because you know, see I just made it come out right there. So, I mean, one thing I do is pull this tight, but you only get so much, so maybe even another flashlight, I don't know, something, we'll figure it out. It also has this, this is removable, you can attach a patch, 
you can attach this which did come with it for rifle or shotgun rounds uh, you'll find that inside is what I did I actually packed this spot with some uh, Z bars and brass knuckles all right because you never know this vest is set up to uh, for combat so I gotta fuck someone up brass knuckles can only help I got I got cool ass brass knuckles if you didn't see them check them bastards out spikes yeah I'll fuck you up I don't need the brass knuckles though just so you know don't need any of this stuff got all I need baby okay you got a side magazine pouch here I stored this uh, handy little uh, tool three knives one with a gut hook One's a regular knife, gut hook has serrated blade, and it has a saw. So, excellent survival tool. Put that back in there. Alright, this side. I got one more magazine for my pistol, so that gives three total, counting what's in the weapon. Yep, another flashlight. This one has tactical light, so it goes clear. I always do this wrong. There's the red and the blue. Oh, there we go. And light. All right. And I have a pen light in this pocket. Just because you never know. I suppose I could put a little pack of batteries in here. Would probably be a good move. There we go. I like to put my flashlight so the light end is facing out. That way I know if I have one on. Now this is empty. So on my backpack is what I have. I have a ham radio. I have the Baofeng UV-5R. That actually goes in here for when I'm out and about. That's the only communication I have. I keep it on my backpack uh, if it other walkie-talkies, though. So you can see that's an additional part of the gear. I just don't keep it on the vest. It isn't necessarily going to serve me immediately. So I just keep the pocket empty. And then I got the last pocket. I only have a multi tool. Pretty sure that's it. Yep. Multi tool. Oh, I got a little thing of AAA batteries. About six batteries in the bottom of this pocket. There you go. Good idea. Now, also, with this vest, you have zipper pockets here, which is where I keep some gloves. And it's a pair of gloves that's brand new except I wore them and stretched them out a little bit you see I got another zipper pocket there it also has a velcro pocket on the back side that you can use for a water bladder if you look on here you can run your hose right there you got these loops you can clip stuff to same thing on the other side loops you can clip stuff to you got the thing you can run your uh, bladder hose through here and here so I mean You've got options for a bladder, so you don't get dehydrated. So, and I'll show you that bladder pouch. Yep, it's a Velcro bladder pouch right there. Other people talked about putting gear in there. I guess you could throw a poncho or something, I guess, but uh, less is more for me because I got a lot of shit in my backpack. and. It, this is an emergency bug. My backpack's a uh, little longer term. Uh, also, shoulders have these straps, Velcro as well, where you can see here, I got, can double pull this tighter. So it does have some adjustments. It has side straps as well to adjust to you. One other addition I added was a knife, just something I got from Walmart, just a full tang utilitarian knife. So, also, one more thing, it does have a removable patch here, this whole thing will pull right off, so you could put your patches or whatever, so I mean, if you're buying for a police officer or a security guard, you know, this wouldn't be a bad buy, it's pretty solid made, if you don't mind buying from China. Yep, oh, one other thing I have in here, this little pouch here, it's too small for my magazines, but it fits my little knife which is a pretty cool knife. Yep, that was a gift. So, came in a kit I had. 
Yep, a little survival kit. That was one thing I really liked. So there you go. The Yakeda Tactical Vest. So, and whatever brand you get, you know, these are pretty neat. Not too bad on comfort. Uh, weight distribution feels good. Yep, that's about all I got to say about that. Um, hey, there you go. A little product review. Yeah. Personally, uh, I think plate carriers uh, with uh, your own personal custom setup is probably your best bet, but it gets expensive. Right here, 30, 40 bucks. That's definitely more affordable than three or four hundred dollars. So, and and up depending on brand and exactly the specifics of what you get, you know. But plate pit carriers offer more protection. You carry more weight. Trade offs and everything. So, all right. I guess that's a goodbye. Thanks for watching.